Okay, welcome to my first tutorial on extracting a model using Photoshop. I'm going to do this a little bit different than uh, a lot of the other YouTube videos that I've seen before. A lot of the other YouTube videos kind of go through the steps but don't really tell you exactly what you're doing. You kind of got to figure it out a little bit of it. When I was new to Photoshop, this drove me crazy. I have to watch two or three videos just to find out how to do one thing. So I'm going to take you through every step and every single button that I'm going to press to extract this model. The first thing I'm going to do is after we actually open Photoshop, we're going to go up here to Bridge. We're going to launch Bridge. Now, I'm going to go down to a model that I want to extract. Let's try her. We're going to double click to bring it into Photoshop. Double click. And then that's our model. Now, we don't want to really work with the background layer, so what we're going to do here is Control J to duplicate that layer. Once we duplicate that layer, we're going to disable the background layer. Didn't affect it at all. And then we're going to go over to the Magic Wand tool. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure I get as much of the model as possible without getting too much of that white that's kind of going around her legs and her hands and things like that. So what I'm going to do is lower my tolerance. The tolerance is how many pixels is going to be picked up by the magic wand tool in relation to whatever pixel you clicked. So I'm going to lower that tolerance down to 5 because I just basically want to get the pixels that I selected. I'm going to lower that down to 5 and we're going to start clicking. Man. That worked pretty good the first time. Uh, dang, that's pretty good. All right, we'll just continue to click around a little bit more just to refine that. I didn't expect it to work that well the first time. Well, that's a pretty good selection. So now what we're going to do is we're going to Control Shift I to inverse that selection. Now, as you notice, the selection is only covering the model and a little bit of that logo right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy that by control C and we're going to paste it on a new layer which is control V alright so over here we have a new layer of that model we're going to disable the model below it so we can see how we did on that and just as I thought that was pretty good I mean, can't really complain too much about that one so what we're going to do now is we're going to refine any extra white areas that we might have missed in the model by just uh, extracting that just a little bit more. So what we're going to do now is we're going to control click on the actual icon, on the icon, not out here. We're going to control click on that and that's going to activate that model once again. We're going to go up to the refine edge. And what refine edge does is just basically what it sounds like. It's going to refine the edges of the model. So you see she has a little bit of white in here, a little bit of white over there. We're going to try to take that out as much as possible. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to go and click around that model's head and just refine that edge just a little bit more. Now, when I let go of the mouse, it's going to look like some of that's been faded out a little bit. Don't worry about that right now. All, it's really, all we're really worrying about is trying to get as much white out as possible. We'll fix that later. Okay. We're going to come down here to New Layer with Mask. We have a couple options you can use here. You got New Layer, New Layer with Mask, a whole new document, or a new document with a mask. But for now, we're just going to press New Layer with a Mask. And I'm going to press OK. All right, so just as I said before, you have a little bit of areas in here that's kind of faded out, a little bit over there that's faded out. And this is your layer here with the mask that we talked about. But how we're going to bring that back in is. Control J to duplicate that layer, and as you can see, her hair is back again. I'm going to Control J one more time just to make sure everything that was missing is back in there again. So now we're going to merge all these layers together that we just duplicated. So make sure the top layer is selected. We're going to go down to a layer 2 copy. We're going to shift click to activate all those layers, and then we're going to merge them all together by pressing Control E. Once we press Control E, all those layers will come together and your model has been extracted. The next thing we're going to do is get rid of a couple of layers below it because we don't need those layers anymore. And just to see how we did, we're going to add a new layer. So 
I'm going to come down here. We're going to click create new layer and then we're going to go over here to our palette and as you can see both of them are white right now but let's reset that just so you can see what I'm doing what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press control backspace and that's going to actually give me the sub layer which is white here so control backspace will give me that white layer if I would have pressed alternate backspace it would have gave me the top layer which is black here but for now we're going to press control backspace just to get that white all right, now to see how we've done, we're gonna enable that that white layer. We're gonna disable it, enable it again, disable it. Look like that model's been extracted fairly well. So that is in a nutshell how you extract the model. Thanks for watching.